let's take a look at SWOT analysis. Strategic planning helps a manager lead strategically. Strategic planning encompasses those activities that lead to the statement of goals and objectives and the choice of strategy. In practice, many executive leaders choose a strategy prior to strategic planning. Once the firm has a strategy, such as forming strategic alliances, a plan is developed to implement it. Quite often, strategic planning takes the form of SWOT analysis, a long-standing method of considering internal strengths and weaknesses as well as external opportunities and threats. A SWOT analysis represents an effort to examine the interaction between the particular characteristics of your organization or unit and the external environment or marketplace in which you compete. Four steps are recommended to bring about a successful SWOT analysis. First, it's important to be clear about what you're doing and why. The purpose might be to fine tune a present strategy or to point the business in a new direction. Second, it's important to select appropriate contributors. Usually six to 10 people is an adequate group size. Select people with appropriate experience, talent, enthusiasm, and imagination. Third, allocate research and information gathering tasks. Several members of the team might concentrate on analyzing the firm, whereas others might concentrate on analyzing the outside environment. Step four is to create a workshop environment by encouraging open communication among all participants. All present should feel free to criticize the status quo, even questioning what most people think is a company strength. The components of a basic version of SWOT are described next. The emphasis in this step is assessing factors within the organization that have a positive impact on implementing the plan. What are your advantages? What do you do well? This is identification of internal strengths. Identifying internal weaknesses is where a strategy developer takes a candid look at factors within the firm that could have a negative impact on the proposed plan. What could be improved? What is done badly? What should be avoided? Next, we identify external opportunities. The purpose of this step is to assess socioeconomic, political, environmental, and demographic factors among others to estimate what benefits that they may bring to the organization. Then we identify threats. The purpose of this step is to assess what negative impact socioeconomic, political, or environmental factors may have on the organization. There's a downside to every alternative, so think ahead and do contingency planning. Ask people who may have tried in the past what you're attempting now.